Hi, I'm Martin Kampmann. I'm an associate professor at UCSF. Hi, I'm Rui Lin Tian, a graduate student in the Kampmann lab. Today, we're excited to tell you about a technology platform that we developed together with Michael Ward's lab at the NIH, which makes it possible to conduct large-scale genetic screens in human neurons in order to understand their function in health and disease. This platform is based on CRISPR. You may have heard about CRISPR technology. The bacterial protein Cas9 can be programmed by a single guide RNA to cut specific sequences in human DNA. This has many uses in genome editing. For this project, we are using a variation of CRISPR technology, which we de co-developed here at UCSF, CRISPR interference, or CRISPR-I for short. For CRISPR-I, we use a catalytically dead version of Cas9, DCAS9, which no longer cuts DNA. However, we fuse it to a transcriptional repressor domain which is then recruited to the DNA to suppress the expression of human genes. In this project, we implemented CRISPR-I in human-induced pluripotent stem cells and neurons derived from these stem cells. One of the motivations is to understand the biology of human neurons, but also to understand what goes wrong in disease. Hello, I'm Michael Ward. I'm a neurologist at the National Institutes of Health, and I see patients in clinic with neurodegenerative diseases. I also lead a research team at the NIH whose mission is to try to find cures for these degenerative diseases by understanding the basic mechanisms that cause them. Forward genetics is an incredibly powerful technology to identify potential disease mechanisms. But until now, most genetic screens have been carried out in model organisms such as yeast or in cancer cell lines. And one of the reasons for this is that you need a lot of cells to perform one of these screens, oftentimes 100 million cells per treatment group. My lab has developed a new technology to be able to generate screen grade quantities of human neurons from induced pluripotent stem cells. So to enable four genetic screens in human neurons, we fuse our technology to generate large quantities of neurons with technology developed by Martin Kampman to enable CRISPR inhibition screens in human cells. By doing so, we could do the first ever functional genomic screens in human neurons. As a proof of principle, we used our new platform in three different ways to understand gene function in human neurons. First, we conducted a screen to identify genes that affect neuronal survival. From that screen, we uncovered a number of genes that are essential for neurons but not for stem cells or cancer cells. Next, we monitored these neurons over time by microscopy. And surprisingly, we found that knockdown of some of the essential genes showed opposing effects on neural growth or branching. To understand the impact of perturbing these genes in neurons and stem cells, we coupled our platform with single cell RNA sequencing. Surprisingly, we found that the same gene can play very different roles in these two cell types. This finding really showed the importance of studying gene functions in the relevant cell types. So we think there's huge potential for future studies using this platform. First of all, stem cells can actually be obtained from patients that we see in our clinic. Those cells can then be genetically engineered to have the machinery to enable them to perform the CRISPR eye screens that our labs developed. So by comparing disease cells versus healthy cells, we may be able to unlock some of the mysteries of neurodegeneration. Mm -hmm.